Every great story starts with a journey, and for us it starts on the North Norfolk Railway, a location much loved by filmmakers shooting period melodrama, and of course a featured television location for a warning to the curious, as directed by Lawrence Gordon Clark. Our intention is to explore the vexing question, did M.R. James believe in the paranormal? Much of what has been reported suggests that, on the surface at least, James had an open mind, due largely to numerous of his own brushes with experiences either preternatural or which could be interpreted or misinterpreted as such. Despite what was surely an intellectual wrestling with the possibilities, James never publicly made any admission to such beliefs. Our view is that he did and we hope to convince you that there was so much more depth and secrecy to the character of James, which has largely been left unexplored, and that his own experiences greatly contributed to his work in the realm of the paranormal. And if M.R. James is considered the father of the modern ghost story, then Lawrence Gordon Clark, the highly innovative BBC director of many of James's successful television stories, and Jonathan Miller, who directed the earlier BBC production of Whistle When I Come To You, My Lad, are certainly the masters of interpretive landscaping with their wonderful, yet almost minimalist productions brought to the delight of viewers on the small screen across the English-speaking world. And so we focus on two stories for our investigation, the original text of O Whistle When I Come To You, My Lad, and A Warning To The Curious as well as on Whistle and I Come To You, which Miller produced in 1968 and the later production by Clark in 1971 of A Warning to the Curious, we will show you why the original locations were moved elsewhere along the East Anglian coast and why these interpretations actually sit much closer to the spirit of James's storytelling, which I'm sure the great man would have approved of. <laughs> 